Should I do it? You know what? Fuck it. We can flee if we want. Ah, uh, we already found it. We already found it. That's so scary. They're level 100. I'm pretty sure about that. We can try. We can try. Let's go. We can try. We're strong, independent people. Look at their health. It's me again, though. Because I'm very fast. Anti-tank gun. 500. <laughs> 100 XP, though. Why am I doing this to myself? Just keep near the shore and everything is going to be fine. That's so scary, though. <laughs> I wonder why Misha is so slow. That is so scary. 332. Why they, do they focus Charlene as well? Thank you for missing. Machine junk. Heavy machine junk. <laughs> okay, we're in the island now. Uh, What do we get from being the island again? I don't remember what's in here. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's something in the middle of the... Wait, why? Why are you not... Grab it! Why am I not grabbing it? Oh, three ship. There we go. We got it. Vehicle. 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 There we go. Now we're safe. Safer. Not safe. That's it? We got a ship out of this. Hmm. Okay, scary. Uh, let's bail that plan. That plan sucks. Our tank is almost destroyed. <laughs> I don't know why they like focusing Charlene. I guess it makes sense because Charlene does have like the most amount of firepower. Maybe I should change them around. It doesn't make sense because Charlene does deal the most amount of damage. If I put Misha on Wilburwind and she needs to leave a tank during the fight, then she's going to be on, on messy grounds. Because if Misha leaves the tank, which she, she needs to do a lot to repair and do stuff like that. It can be a nightmare. And we don't want that. We don't want Nightmare. Nightmare? Yes. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. There's actually a boss that's locked behind a vehicle that you can get in this game. So you can fight that boss before you, you find the vehicle and buy it. Yeah, Charlene is pretty fast now that she has, like, almost no health left. Medium War. Nice. Oh, they drop ore as well? Why am I not fighting them then? I guess because they were dropping um, junk. So the red ones drop ore. Good to know. Oh, okay. Now we can fight them as well. Good to know. I think medium war is the same amount as unknown war. I'm scared that just because we're we have low health now we might uh, get um what the fuck is the name of the thing? What is the name of the enemy? Uh, B2 Manta Ray to show up. Okay, but now that we know that these enemies drop ores as well we might as well fight them we don't even have to like selectively 
defeat them. However, I don't know how much um, medium ore gives in weight. So I'm just going to farm for a while. Uh, these are the, the black ones drop um, junk. And the red ones drop ore, I see. Nice. However, they're not dropping enough. How much do I have? Um, one, two, three, four, five. That's not even near enough. Maybe something like ten. Because if I estimate that they have like, if I estimate that the the medium R is one point seven. So 10 of them would be 17 and we need the need 30. Yeah. No, stop finding the mixture. I don't want mix. I want only the red ones. Yo, Sean! Thank you very, very much for the raid. Thank you, Sean. Hey Sean. Welcome viewers. Welcome everyone. Hey Sean. How was your stream? Was it a great one? I sure do hope so. Large R. Oh, thank you for the follow, Barley. That's very sweet of you. Thank you very, 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 very much. Chire, thank you, Sean. I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking, Sean. Uh, right now, I'm farming a little bit of ore because I need to trade it for metal so I can make a new vehicle. Um, however... This segment has three types of enemies. Two of them drop the thing that I need, and one of them drop a thing that just clogs up my inventory. So I'm kind of having to select who I'm fighting. Other than that, I'm just chilling. But welcome, everyone. Welcome. My name is Isaac. I'm I'm a music and English teacher on my most of my time, and when I'm not teaching, I'm playing games on stream. <laughs> hey yo. Um, yes, I'm actually enjoy. I am not, it's not that I'm not enjoying, it's that this is actually my favorite game of all time. It's a game that I played a lot when I was a child. And I've never played any other Metal Max game, any other game from the series. It's a little loud for me. Um, however, this game has a lot of cool stuff. First of all, it's a open world game in the PS2 era, which is pretty rare. This is the map right now. We're 66% of the way done, and we're like almost 18 hours in. For a PS2 games, for you to be a, a, almost 20 hours into a game, and you're not even 60, like 70% of the way there. So I do enjoy it a lot. Stream on well. Glad I got the chance to talk with Barney Ellie again. She was the second person ever to raid my channel, and she's super. Oh, that's awesome! Thank you for helping Sean out, Barley. Then. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly like that, Barley. It's a, it's a pretty underrated game, in my opinion. And I'm so hyped because a new game from the series is coming out. That's very, very sweet. Like, uh, Sean is such a great person, and I love when people help sh her out because, I don't know, man. We need more help in, these, in this world. Helping is fun, and helping helps. <laughs> Yeah, you saw that? It's actually cool to see another person who is into the series. Because I've never met anyone else who plays this. Oh, you didn't do that, Sean. You give me a sub. Oh my god. What an angel. Thank you so much, Sean, for the gift sub for Barney. That's very, very sweet. I don't deserve that, but thank you very, very much. You guys don't know how much that means to me because I, I love doing this. I just love sitting and playing a game that I loved as a child and having fun. And then you guys come with your, like, your support. And it just makes me humble. It just humbles me and puts me on my spot. <laughs> I'm just a vessel. Not really into the series, but keen to get into it. It has a... Ooh, yeah, I know, like, it's pretty okay-ish following in Japan. Uh, okay, I think that's enough. Because, let me check. We have one, okay, that's five, that's ten, that's 
12, 13, 14. That's, I think that's enough. I'm gonna go to... Okay, let me... I'll read that in a sec. Let me just teleport to this one. Ali... Isaac helped me make a Philip last year and all kinds of interesting stuff. He follow teacher doesn't hurt. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I mean... Like, I knew that... Um, I always am on Courtney's stream. Courtney's and Jason. Jason's... I actually watched yesterday because I haven't had much time lately. Uh, I've been very busy, but it's actually very good to um, to to catch up with them. But uh, I was on a, a Courtney stream and Courtney uh, told me that she was going to raid Sean and I just tagged along and I was very like compelled because oops, that's a that's a terrible choice there. However, I just got and I was compelled because I know what the grind feels like. Um, me and Sean were around the same number of followers and we needed to get to, to that affiliate mark, which is the first big step into streaming. And then I was just like, yeah, sure, why not? I, I rated Sean whenever I could and she's been helping me so much more than I can help her. Oh, I can't place any more on that. It's a problem. Uh, was wondering if maybe you had bonded as fellow teachers. Yeah, Sean actually put, puts more... Uh, <laughs> she puts more work on me than I actually need. Or, or that I actually deserve. Because Sean is actually a professor. She, she teaches at a, a facility and things like that. I just teach English to, to people here on my, on my building whenever they want. So, yeah. <laughs> platform doesn't really help with visibility for new streamers i can't complain to be honest like okay i'm gonna return the item real quick um i can't complain to be honest because even though it doesn't help it, it, there are a few ways that you can like make a following for you if you play games that are like not too popular and you grab a few of your friends to actually boost you up in the, the viewings a little bit. You have three people watching you. And then more people are going to come and watch what you're doing. So I agree but disagree at the same time. Um, that's awesome. More than language is such a worthwhile thing to do. And it's great to help people with that. It is. And like this game actually it made a big impact on that for me. Because... Here in Brazil, we don't speak English as a norm. That's not a normal thing. It's pretty rare. So when I started playing this game, I was around 10. And this game was one of the first things that actually helped me learn English. It helped me immerse myself in a world where English was the, the main language. So I I could start learning. If you can get those few, first few viewers. It really helps. Yeah. And it's not... I'm not going to say it's easy. Like... It, there are some days where you gotta sit down and talk while no one is watching you. You really gotta push through and just give your give it your all. But I feel like it's worth it because if you're having fun, people are like gravitated towards people who aren't having fun. So people are just gonna look at you and be like, "Oh, this person is having a blast. I want to be a part of this." Ellie Live translates Japanese games on her channel. Oh, that's cool. Makes me wish I had time to brush up on the Japanese learning in college you know, all those years ago. I mean, my Japanese is pretty rough because I am trying to learn Japanese, but the thing that I need to work a lot on right now is my kanji and uh, uh, that, that just takes so much time. I end up get, getting lazy or I just push it aside like, oh, I'm busy, I have to do the dishes now, I'm not gonna learn Japanese. So yeah, it's pretty hard to get uh, very mo motivated to do these things. I have a lot of friends who say the same. They learn playing by, by playing games. Yeah, I think like the thing that people don't know, especially the method that I use to teach basically, is that it's not about learning how to translate the thing back to your language. If you can immerse yourself in a world where everything is the, the language that you're trying to learn, it, it just makes it a lot easier because you don't think like, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna use a silly example, but um, mousey. Um, mouse, not as in the, the thing that you use, but let's suppose mouse, the, the, the animal. I don't think 
a, a mouse as in rato in Portuguese. I just think of the animal when I think mouse. And I think that's what thing people don't generally get right. And they get kind of confused. If ever I have questions about Japanese, please ask. Happy to help. Oh man, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, 27. 13 more uh, tons. Okay. So we're not done yet. I'm still a little bit more farming. <clears throat> okay, but that's 27. I need 17. And just as I, I expected, the medium ore is actually uh, 1.7. So I need 10 of it. This is 3.4. Um, this is 5. So that's 8.4. And that's 11 point something. I lost count somewhere in the middle. So we have around 11 tons. We need 6 more or 2 more big ones. Yeah, the little tanks are so cute. And they're actually based on actual tanks in real life. I mean, except the, the bus. <laughs> um, they're based on uh, real designs on, on tanks that actually exist. And I, I'm going to show you the collection since you're, you're interested in this. But basically, this is actually the, the, the most in-depth part about this. Is that each vehicle has a, a mount. And you can see like the, the chassis for this one has one main gun. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but there's one main gun, two sub, sub and two special weapons. And like others are like this one has two main, one sub and two SE, but it has the, the added benefit of being anti-aircraft. So there's various types of vehicles for different types of situations. And I've been collecting them because I actually want to 100% this game. Because when I was a child, I just played it just to be immersed in this world. There, I w didn't have any real goal, like just beating the game. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of m management. And the more things you put on your vehicles, the, the more weight it takes and then less health your, your vehicle has. So there's a lot of trade that you need to do. Uh, let me use the, the animal instinct again, because I don't want to fight uh, low-level enemies until I get to the where I need to be. And I'm in basically preparing, like getting a new tank. And there's only, I think, two more that we need from this side. Ego 1, this one, is the what I'm looking for. It's the, the boss that I'm looking for. Sadly, it just wanders around the map. However, it's al always on the east. Yes, it's always on the east and it wanders around the map. So I, I have to just run into it. And another one that I'm looking for is Tank Eater Just Killed, which is the B2 Manta Ray. B2 Manta Ray wanders around the uh, west. Man of War, I'm not prepared to do yet. Comic Chameleon, I need a specific vehicle to be able to access it. And Tiamat is like level 200, <laughs> so I'm not ready yet. And Puppet Master, I need to wait for the for the um, opportunity to show up. I should probably go see the Dalton Brothers now that I think about it. So after I get the, the scrap metal and get the new vehicle, uh, we're going to fight the Dalton Brothers because they want revenge. Okay, so I need... How much did I say that I needed? Like seven more? So three more large ores. I just give you a sub to Alice's channel as well. Oh, thank you very, very much, Sean. That's very, very sweet. I'll be sure to to use it. <laughs> oh yeah, I should. Oh, well, if are you around, can you shout out Sean, please? Um, I mean, I can do it. It's not like a. It takes too long. <clears throat> there we go. I set up the the command. Oh lord, it really tanked the the performance when I alt tab the game. I'm sorry. I think that's... The, if they drop now, it might be enough. Okay, I think it, this is enough now. Sean is a big sweetheart. <laughs> okay, let's go to Alice one. This is the last time we need to do this. Because I think we have enough now. So, after we do this, we're going to go to the, um, to the railroad. However, in the railroad, there's a lot of enemies that can poison your tank. So, I should probably take soap with me. I don't know if uh, where to buy that, though. I just like to pay for when people help me. And you both help me a lot. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my god. The, 
I still am thinking about... Uh, oh yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine, Sean. And this year's charity stream, I was thinking about either doing one for indigenous people of Brazil, which are suffering a lot right now. And... Also, I thought about doing it for Ukraine. So I might do both of them. I just need to prepare for it first because I've been a little busy lately. So I need to find time to prepare. And I'll definitely do a 12 hour live stream for that one. There's no need. There's no need in my case, at least. It's been a pleasure. Lovely to know you. I completely agree with that one. Whenever I have a, a little bit of free time, I just go on Sean's channel and she's playing something very sweet and then I can just enjoy my time be very yeah just grateful for existing yeah uh, I I always try to choose like causes that are both close to me and very important and last year I did one for mental health this year I did one for my friend who was sick and she needed help with her medical bills and I'm thinking about doing another one for both indigenous people and and Ukraine, so yeah. Uh, okay, thank you, Sean. I I'll be sure that I will do that whenever I find the the time. Again, I just need to to really find time. Why is the the bus getting frisky there? Okay, how much do we have here? We have twenty tons. It's more than we need. I think we actually went overboard. Um, are you okay there, bus? Are you fine? <laughs> that doesn't seem like very healthy. Um, actually, I should probably... Yeah, it's amazing how much good... And, and that's actually one of the, the, the reasons why I started streaming. Because I struggled with mental health problems for 11 years. And when I was during during my my healing procedure i actually talked to my my therapist and she said you should do some charity work like it's gonna help your health however i was agoraphobic back then so the idea of interacting with people was what actually triggered my panic so what i did is that i found this platform actually back then i still used um another streaming platform i didn't use twitch i forgot the name right now of the platform that i used but i started streaming because i wanted to do charity because it was going to help in my my healing process it's something that occupied my time and made my me feel better about myself and not so overly judgy and eventually i just fell in love with it it's so much fun to be able to both be playing a game from my childhood and also helping people it's uh it just strikes to two things it scratches two two spots that are scratchy or itches you guys understand i'm not very good with words <laughs> But it's having a movement, yeah. And I, I'm basically just keeping buzz because the, you can only have like three um, party members with vehicles. The fourth vehicle is not carrying anyone. I just used it to store things. It, it, it's basically towed to the, the back of one of the other vehicles. So I'm. It, it doesn't matter which vehicle is back there. I just use the bus because it's a bus. It's funny. My counselor in co college encouraged me to do work with my with my campus's LGBTQ plus and student organization. I eventually made president there. And that leadership experience really helped me when I started teaching in grad school. That's actually very cool, Sean, because LGBTQ people really need LGBT. I can't even words. Uh, they need a lot of representation, but I think it, it needs to be from a, a place of of true representation I, we need more people who are doing it because they want to help not just because they want clout if you want understand my meaning because nowadays basically like a show that i used to love as a child was steven universe and it, it had great lgbt representation but then after a while it just became they just started adding more characters just because the LGBT community used to like support it so much. So I think it, it, it can be a double-edged sword. You can relate a lot to that. Mental health is a battle and it's important to do things that help you with self-esteem. Exactly. That Twitch has been so good for you. Oh, thank you. It, it's, it is. It's very, very good. <clears throat> Twitch is the platform that has a lot of power, both in, in the great sense and the bad sense. And I, I'm really glad that I can be a part of what makes the platform good and I have friends in the community 
that helped me make the the best out of my, my time here. Again, why is the bus getting freaky? Why is every time I stop you guys get freaky? Girly boy, good to see you again. I've been waiting for a chance to use your nickname, girly boy. So what can I do for you? Uh, make me a tank. Girly boy, this scrap metal you faithfully collected is finally gonna pay off. Thank you. Tell the truth, girly boy, since you designed this tank, I have absolutely no clue what will happen. Well, girly boy, let's find out. Switch on. By the way, he's calling me girly boy because I chose that as my nickname. Don't don't think uh, it's anything offensive. <laughs> Just normal bus things. Yeah. I, I hate it when my bus starts vibrating randomly. There it is. We have a new vehicle. That's a cool design, though. This process used to take forever, girly boy. But these days, you just turn the switch and voila, it's done. Advances in science are truly amazing, don't you agree, girly boy? Well, my advancement at least. <laughs> the tank is all yours, girly boy. Do whatever you like with it. Thank you, Mr. Pawn. That's very useful. Very nice. Well, girly boy, why don't you give your name a ride? Um, since you're here, Barley, I, you can choose the name for the tank, for the vehicle. Why do you want to call this one? <clears throat> Generally, I charge um, channel points for it, but since you guys are awesome, I, you have all the freedom in the world to, to do this. Uh... <clears throat> I rode the bus once two hundred years later. <laughs> uh, I did take uh, the bus a lot when, on my teenage years to go to school. I remember I used to sleep in the bus and then wake up in a in a neighborhood that I've never seen in my life before. And then I had to figure out how to come back to my house without dying in the process. So it was pretty fun. Sure, take your time. We're not rushing here. Let me just grab my water bottle real quick. It's a little bit still. Because I do love making voices. However, they do take a toll on my throat. <clears throat> Why is my mother calling me mom? Oh, that's wonderful. My mother is gonna come visit me next week. That's sweet. I love mom. We don't interact as much as we used to before, but my mom is a nice mom. Thank you. <laughs> I can vibe. That's a good one. That's a cool one. Um, and they're, <laughs> I just now realized that they're vibrating while we're doing this. They're very vibrating today. Thank you. There we go. Uh, actually, let me add a little bit of... There we go. Thank you. A little bit of spaz. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> you got thank you. You can use the drive command. Yes, I know. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, you say? <laughs> That's perfect, girly boy. Thank you. Ah, I love it. Well then, girly boy, why don't you take it for a spin? If you get tired of it, come back anytime and I'll make you a new one. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Guys, can, can we stop with the vibration, please? Uh, bus, <laughs> please. Thank you. Literally, thank you. Bus having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's check it out. Let's see the, the specs on this boy. This baby boy. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, what is the, the mount? One main, one sub, one SE. <laughs> I like the, the name of the, the engine is friend. Daros, 205, 30 millimeter Vulcan. Hit stealth enemies. That's cool. That's actually pretty good. 205. I have a 220 on my one. On my one. On mine. The one that I'm using. We can actually change this. I'm going to give it to... To Misha right now. Oh, there is Steve. Hello, Steve. You're mad, mad AF. Why are you mad, bro? What is happening? I need to get some sleep now, but it was a really lovely. Oh, thank you very much, Barley. It was good seeing you too. Thank you for the thing. Steve <laughs> Gibrud. 
<laughs> Thank you, Barley. It was amazing meeting you. You can definitely wait. If you're alive and I'm I'm around, I can definitely raid you. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are awesome and, and sweet. Um, yeah, but I don't think I'm gonna be using this one right now because it does have 60 defense on board, but it has less firepower than the one that I'm using. Good night. Okay, let's send this one to, to the thing then. Um, SATCOM. Remote. You just saw an RLL stream? What do you mean? Uh, send it to junkyard. Okay, now we need to go back to junkyard. Just store the vehicle in the thing. And after we store that, we can go defeat the Dalton brothers. Wow. That's insane. Mew mail to my friend. Hi, girly boy. How's the tank I built for you? If you don't like it, bring it back to my lab. I'll scrap it and make a new one. I'd do anything for my new best friend. Talk to you later, girly boy. Thank you. That's actually insane, bro. I was talking to Willa. How we were talking to one of the people here. Oh, man, I actually forgot. I forgot. We're gonna go have, have to go back to, to Dr. Palm's lab to grab the bus. <laughs> the new cortex voice. <laughs> um, oh, what was I? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, we were talking to one of our viewers one day. That who was it? Was it a Japanese friend? I don't remember who we were talking to. However, they got like they were talking how switches are so cheap in the exterior. Like we pay like fucking insane prices on on stuff here in Brazil. It's kind of annoying. To tell you the truth. Okay, let's stop towing. Look at this, man. Look at this chunky lineup of vehicles we have. Look at this. The game even slows down. Okay, now we need to sadly go back to, to Dr. Palm. I mean, we don't need to. Okay, let's go to Alice 1 first. In Alice 1, we're gonna go fight the Dalton brothers, and then we go back to Dr. Pump. So we don't have to go back and forth all the way, all the time, for no reason. Uh, and it finally stopped raining, so my computer is not freezing anymore, which is awesome. Wait, the volume is low now. You guys can hear the, the songs. I love the songs in this game. You guys need to hear them. Oh lord, I clicked out of the game. Okay, now we just need to follow the railroad. Um, should we... Yeah, we could try doing, like, uh, Annihilator as well. Because I know where it is. Because they mentioned it in a, in a trade camp. I don't know if we're going to find the trade camp right now. Oh, we're in the wrong place. We're in, the, in completely the wrong place. We need to go from East Zero to Alice One. However, since we're gonna do this already, might as well do this real quick. It's not gonna take long. We're gonna have to teleport to, to East Zero anyway. Dr. Palm should leave ne near something. He lives too far away. Uh, let me use... Item on instinct. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's gonna get those references, sadly. Maybe Wolf will. I don't know if he will. But yeah, we do have a lot of, of vehicles right now happening on our on our biz, and all of the, na the names were given by the the community, so that's even cooler. Like the fact that no, actually, I can do this. Will will <laughs> will will. Uh, but yeah, look at that. We have McQueen. Given by Willow. Aurora was also given by Willow. Sunbeam, also by Willow. Uh, this one was by me. <laughs> this one, only uh, the three of us will get this one. Um, Excalibur was given by Ahmed. Black Pearl was given by Oasis, I think. Microwave was given by me. Degasi, also by Willow. And thank you by our new friend now. 
which is awesome. But yeah, I do need to, to remember to, to check their stream later. I, I think it's... Um, I, I can't remember. I should probably set up a, a reminder, but I can do this. Um, I, I, it's okay. <laughs> I can allow that. Automod, it's okay. He's a friend. It's okay. It's okay, Automod. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's because of caps. I still haven't done that because I haven't had the chance to give a, a your name yet. That next vehicle can be called that if you want. You just need to be here. And also waste your channel points. Speaking of which, if you have... Um, no, you need to swear in caps. I think the, the thing doesn't like if you swear in caps. Um, speaking of channel points, there's a, a thing in ch channel points that you guys can get to g get your name in the leader leaderboard. For coffin caps. I don't know then. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Your guess is as good as mine now. Okay, but now that we're done with this, we can defeat the Dalton brothers. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't suck and die. Is everyone in tip-top shape? Yes, everyone is tip-top shape. Let's go. It's time we face the Dalton brothers. I fucking hate this place. We can't even walk 10 centimeters without a, a fight, so let me use my thing. Uh, the, the thing is actually turned offline for this game, the the sounds, because the it, it really takes a toll on my CPU, these, so the, the emulator starts tanking, I'm sorry. But the timing, <laughs> yeah, I know, but for this thing I can't, um, if you, I'm gonna turn it on so you, got, you can check it. Look at this. Are you seeing this? This is just turning it on. You're not even using it. And this is turning it off. It goes to 50% speed, like instantly. So yeah, I can't, I'm sorry. Okay, let's face the Dalton brothers. I don't remember if they're up or down. Uh, since you weren't here, Steve, basically we killed uh, a group of criminals called the Dalton Brothers. Uh, I think I can show you. Uh, Dalton Brothers, Dalton Brothers, Dalton... There we go. We killed them, the Dalton Brothers, uh, was w when we were level 19. And then we got the email from the, the rest of the crew. Uh, asking for revenge. To avenge the deaths of Frederick, Roberto, and Shasta, we challenge you to a duel. Come to the first Continental Railroad Tunnel. Regards, Zed and Francine Downton. So, this is what we're doing right now. Oh, there's something here. What is this? <gasps> Drill gun! Put it on the bus. Our bus is <laughs> our, our carrying stock thing. There they are. They're coming. Are you varmints the hunters who killed our brothers? Did you kill Sephiroth? Not yet. Sephiroth? To kill Sephiroth, we'll actually need to... to have Hashid on our team. Then we owe you a weapon. This is one for our... This one is for our brothers. Okay, hopefully we're ready for this. Okay, let's keep our subbing then. Oh, they're out of range. This is annoying. Uh, which one we're talking about? The Sephiroth or Hashid? Uh, we actually need to defend only then. Everyone defend. Until our dog uses Fox Hunt, we're kind of fucked. 13 damage. <laughs> I killed the sexiest man alive. Do we still have RARP? We have piercing shells. We don't have RARPs. God damn it, this is so fucking annoying. Dog, please use your thing. Do we still have ARP piercing shells? Oh my god, this is annoying. Return to front. They return to front, guys. The red-haired lady that put you... Oh! 
that's Scarlet. It's because there's a dude in the game that's called... Um, that's inspired by Sephiroth. So I thought you were talking about him. No, I haven't killed Scarlet yet. Scarlet is probably the hardest boss in the entire game. Because you, you duel her. You can use your party. And it's a 1v1 match. Nice. Now we're dealing damage. Main gun. That's some good damage that they're dealing, but not enough to, to make me worried, I guess. Um, just keep firing. Should I go... Yeah, I'm gonna go with SE. Even though I have two main guns, they're probably gonna do more damage. It's better if I do. <laughs> yeah, you played an hour of the game. You should play it more. The thing, the reason why you didn't play it more is because um, I couldn't make it run anymore. And also you weren't coming to my house anymore. So yeah, two, two reasons. Uh, but I can show you him. I can show Sephiroth to you because we're gonna go there to grab the reward anyways. So might as well. Did you miss, dog? Really? It's not dealing that much damage at all. I thought they were gonna be stronger. Because they appear when you get the, the title Vase Hunter. Easy. Easy kaka. Yes, we'll see you soon. I, I couldn't even read that. Why you guys die so quickly? Man. Ah, oh, shit. The the debuff disappeared. Please don't bite. Please don't. Don't. Spew acid. Don't. Ah, oh, fucking asshole. Okay, it didn't work. It didn't work. God damn it. Now that the pandemic is better, maybe I could sometime when vacation arrives. Vac vacation, yes. English. Vacation arrives. I would be glad to, to have you, man. Like, please do come. Right now, I... Probably can't because my room is um, like vacant. I'm sleeping on my mother's bed and my mother is on her boyfriend's house. So, yeah. I mean, it's not in that order that things happen, but and anyways, we're going to go to Alice one to grab our reward and I can show you Sephiroth while we're there. I think now the only things that are missing are... Ego one, that is just a... We gotta find him on the field. Ah, it's been like... Almost since the beginning of the year. She's been on her boyfriend's house a lot. And... They were th talking about... Because it's closer to her, her job. But then she lost both of her jobs. And now she got new ones. And... In, the, in these new ones, it's still closer for her to be there. They're looking for a house to, for us to, to move that are closer to, to her jobs. However, that's a little hard to get because of the... Um, she's been looking ever since the beginning of the year. And then she thought she found one, so she bought a new wardrobe. And she brought the pieces and put them on my room until we moved. However, the lady that was offering the house just bailed. So now my room is still filled with, like wardrobe pieces everywhere yeah it's been a, a while since we talked at, at all actually mushroom what the fuck spooky mushrooms is the target monster drops a pricey item what the fuck acid slug yeah i know dalton brothers there we go tank eater I forgot we defeated this that as well nice Good luck, Mr. Palms friend. Okay, now I'm permanently tainted with the nickname Palms friend. God damn it. The dude makes good tanks, okay? He's not a terrible person. He's just creepy and weird. And kind of chuffed. A little bit chuffed. Okay, let's... Uh, actually, let's put our dog to fight. Because why the fuck not? Uh, I'm going to show you Sephiroth real quick. Ich habe hunger. Burm. Okay. Uh, this is Sephiroth. Wait, Murasami is not here. Oh, Rashid is here. Okay, I'll show you Sephiroth when you're back then. <clears throat> um, let's put our dog to, to beat the shit out of some things then for money. 
dog called the same. Hey, kid, looks like you've got a fierce dog there. Want to give it a go? You bet. Dan, you need to pay the entry fee of 500. You're in? Believe it. Believe it. Win 600, round one. Fight. Punch. You missed. You suck. Cannon. You suck, dude. Ah, who's a good bopper? Who's a good bopper? Yes, you're the best bopper. Oh, she's such a great bopper. Look at her go. Um, the next battle will be for 800. Okay, I won. Just keep her going. What the fuck is that? She can win, right? She's awesome. Machine gun. You suck, dude. Yeah, she's the best pupper. Look at her go. Ah, she's such a great pupper. Oh, she got 25 experience. Ooh, that's scary. That means she's under level. Okay, that's enough. I don't want her to die. 1500. Nah. You got 800. Nice. Got 800 bucks. Congrats. Your dog won two battles. Thank you. Nice dog. Um Now what? I don't know what I'm what is my plan right now. Uh we could go to Torikami. I already have my mechanic. Ooh, I know what we're gonna do. I know what we're doing. I know. It's gonna take a while to drive me away from you. There's something that a hundred men or more can never do. I blast the rain down in Africa. <laughs> okay, but I know what we're gonna be doing. Uh, first of all, here in this zero, we could technically do the thing. I should probably not leave my tanks there. So yeah. Here's Murasame. There we go. Um, but Steve is not around. Oh, let me illegally download the music first. Let's see what we have for, for us to listen to. Da, 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 da. Uh, you lose Route 99 Battle A remix. Oh, nice one. Wonder's Metal Wonderer's Melody. <gasps> Wonder's Melody! Oh. And it's actually emotional. Wonder, I didn't know you were in this game. Oh yeah, I forget. <laughs> I can add my own beats. <laughs> Why is this the thing? I can do this. <laughs> yeah, blast beat. <laughs> Why is this making me laugh? <laughs> Fuck yeah! I have a medal, bitch! <laughs> okay, let me clear those things. Let me clear the turbo buttons, otherwise, I'm gonna be entering and leaving my vehicles very quickly. <laughs> oh god, that's actually funny. <laughs> I ruined the song, but whatever. There is Murasame, also known as Sephiroth. Oh god. That's fucking hilarious. Okay, do I have anything to sell to the bartender? Oh lord. Oh, I have gold dust. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Stop laughing! God damn it. Uh. Mm. Okay, I should probably free my inventory. I have a dog tag. Use. You shouldn't gnaw in it. What? 
Okay, let's let's do the thing. <clears throat> we can listen to the the song while we're on the road now because I illegally downloaded it. Uh, what was their name? Wanderers Theme, right? Uh, Wanderers Melody. There we go. Nice. It's fun. I don't think I've ever heard that song in the in the soundtrack before. <laughs> 